Hello and welcome to video 5 in the video series about content creation primarily but not exclusively for Second Life primarily but not exclusively using Blender this is like take 8 uh, yes um, I am doing all these in one take if they come out terrible or if there's an accident happen in the middle or I say something stupid and it's left in that's why uh, I do apologize I've not been around to make some videos real life has been causing a few issues not to mention the uh, sound errors I was having in previous videos which are hopefully fixed now um, today we are covering rigging um, I didn't want to cover rigging this early in the series but I've had a lot of requests for it um, uh, yes. um, Sorry, I just wanted to turn on the screen casting so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to start off with the Avastar. We are using Avastar. Uh, there are multiple ways to do it, but Avastar, like I recommended in the first video, is the tool of the day. I have pre-created, just for simplicity's sake, a very basic box modelled person here. She's going to be our model for rigging. Um, the topology isn't fantastic, it was a very quick creation to get us going today. So, having our object selected, we shift right click our aperture, aperture, that's not the right word, uh, armature, there's one of those mistakes I was talking about. We will then come into the side window, and we will use rigging with weight copy um, if we were like in a uh, if we had the arms diagonally or the legs more spread out we could use ultra mesh to rest pose um, to snap the pieces where we want them but today we just have the uh, the arms and the legs all straight the way very conveniently we have it for second life um, 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 um. I will try to stop saying um. Uh, so we start with parent armature and let's have a look and see how this goes. Then let's go into pose mode. We can now rotate our pieces. Seems to have done alright actually. Uh, hoping this doesn't go too smoothly. Oh here we go. Right, here is our first problem. So I'm going to move this leg out, like here. I'm just using the rotate to uh, move this. I'm now going to click on this button down here, copy, copy the current pose, and then I'm going to paste it to the other side, so the other leg moves the same. We can now see what's going on here. I'm going to actually come into this uh, armature. It's not in this one. In this one, I can now just click on these. I'm just going to hide all the body parts of the default second life avatar. So I just have now the rig and the model. Now, if I move, go into modifiers, I can now click these buttons, which will allow me to see exactly everything as it's posed. And I want to select the parts that are obviously in the wrong place. This is obviously a central piece, so I'm going to just attach this back to the pelvis. I come into the object data, and I have my vertex groups here. So I'm going to just remove it from the left hip and the right hip, and then select that into the pelvis. Seems to have done OK. Uh, Alt R to reset rotations. You can double A to select all. Uh, limbs at the same time. Seems to be all right here. Wow, this is gonna be a really short video. Um yeah, there's a bit of trouble here. We might spend some time cleaning that up a little bit. Just so we have something to do. Uh, there shouldn't be anything attached to the here we go. And you can see this part here that's attached to the head. This is just a neck piece, so we don't want anything on the head here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find head on the list here, hit select, and we can see it's these pieces here. So we're going to remove that and just assign those to the neck. 
now that should all touch the neck. Maybe the shoulder comes in a bit too far there. Now you will notice that there are these uh, cuts where everything meets down at the base. Just like this line here. Which we're going to edge tool so we can do it so you can see it a bit better. This is uh, the bottom of the join and up here I have these cuts which allows the flexibility to bend on the exterior curve without having deformation on the interior curve. Um, I have the same built into my elbows as you can see here. I have on the wrists these curves. I have to some degree on the hips, on the knees, and this terrible thing that I call a foot, which was very quickly boxed up. Don't judge me. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this down. So we'll take this one down, because here's what the shoulder is, and as you can see, it's not actually that big of a problem. So what I'm going to do, I'm not really sure I want to edit any of that. No, I don't. Okay, we'll leave that as is. What we're now going to do is just double check everything generally where we want it. Now here comes a big problem with a lot of rigs, is the ass. Um, there's not much I can do because this mod rig doesn't really have an ass. I've just kind of made it look like Morph from the old TV show, if you know what I mean. Hopefully I'm not the only one that old. Well, that's a bit... Not a lot of commentary here, there's not much I can really say at this point. Um, I want to smoothen this out a bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select these points here. And then on a very weak like point two about that. Just slide that into the pulps there. Also there, like 0.5, 0 0.4. So now, hopefully, should be a bit smoother. Yeah, that's something that I did in the um, the previous rigging video that I did that got cut out because I had problems with the video. Um, but yes, so we're going to just select all all R. Um, I think, you know, hopefully, if everything is built the right way uh, around the Second Life Avatar, you shouldn't really be having any more problems than this. Um, this should be the basic issues you have. Um, the small fixes can be extrapolated into larger instances where you can then deal with larger problems, but beyond that, uh, I don't really think we have a problem. So what I'm going to do here, is I'm just going to um, shade smooth, and then I am going to export this without any kind of texture or anything, uh, and then I'm going to upload it into Second Life just so we can see how it appears. So uh, we we'll start off with Collada. Um, you don't have to do anything down here. Uh, we haven't changed any of the armature scale or deformers or anything else. So I'm just going to save this as it is, prep rigging is fine. And I will be back once I'm in second half. Okay, we're back and uh, hopefully this will go nice and smoothly. We're going to hit our build button, upload, mesh model. Hopefully this doesn't open into a mess, no, here we go. Um, here we go. 
part ready down here. Just double click this. As you can see, our terrible box model body. Uh, we'll hit upload options, include skim weight, calculate weights and fees. Upload. some items, objects, we will just attach this to, it doesn't really matter where you attach it to, it's always going to snap to the body, hopefully if you've done it right, but we're going to attach it to the spine, just because it's out of the way, and uh, there we go, if we turn my AO back on, we'll see how it moves, pretty smoothly, just take it for a bit of a walk about, have a bit of a run, and uh, that's all there is. Awesome. Um, so, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will say, I have been receiving some requests in world, but if anyone wants any request that doesn't talk to me in world or anything like that, just feel free to leave it in the comments and hopefully I will get onto the video as soon as possible. Thank you very much.